Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Squirrely Nuts, your host. Now, today I'm going to be doing episode one of a review series that I've wanted to do, and it's what I've wanted to do since I started YouTube. I'll be reviewing my favorite weapon in the games I play. The first one is the Type 25 in Black Ops 2. Then, after this, it'll be the Scar H in Battlefield 3. Now, uh, to start off, we're going to get into my preferred class setup for this weapon. But right now, this is just some gameplay I put in to show off par some of the parts of the class. Alright, now here is the class that I prefer to use. I use the Type 25 with Quick Draw and Fast Mag. Now, you want to use these two attachments because it caters to the weapon's overall speed and allows it to compete with SMGs up close because you really need to be able to because the Type 25 also has the longest reload of all the assault rifles and Fast Mag really helps cl fix that. Now my perks are Hardline, Fast Hands, and Extreme Conditioning. These all cater to speed, Fast Hands for throwing down equipment faster and switching weapons faster, Extreme Conditioning from getting to place to place. And now here are the score streaks. Now the reason I'm recommending score streaks is because with hardline in this class you're going to be getting in people's faces, capturing an objective, getting two or three kills, and sending out all your score streaks ready to start up again. Now this gameplay really shows that off and shows how this class works. It may be a little weird because mo most people would recommend toughness. You can use toughness with this class as well. I just prefer fast hands for the faster um, throwing of shock charges. That really helps when you're in a pinch. You can use it kind of like a flashbang to throw it at people. Alright, now to get into a little bit more technical aspect of the review. We're going to be covering the stats of the Type 25. Now, the Type 25 is the fastest firing assault rifle in the game, allowing it to be one of the only ones to compete with the SMGs in close range. Now the Type 25 fires at 900 rounds per minute which is extremely fast, that's a bullet hose. So that's why you also have fast mag to help out with the, the rate at which you consume the ammunition so you can go right back to shooting them again. Now the Type 25 also has some of the lowest damage in the game for an assault rifle which is to make up for its high rate of fire. It only deals 33 to 22 damage. Now what that's going to mean for you is it's going to be a 4 to 5 hit kill, which isn't horrible, but it's not great. Cause some of the SMGs with like rapid fire or something might beat you out in close range, but nothing much should beat you in close range besides maybe a shotgun or another Type 25. But if you get a headshot, it'll only take three to four shots to kill at any range. Now I'm going to give you the range profile. The Type 25 deals its max damage of 33 from 0 to 10 meters, which is in a really short range that's not very good. You're, you're going to drop to your minimum damage very fast. So that's why you should always try and get up close with extreme conditioning and get in their face and start spraying them. And then from 11 meters to 20 meters, you're, you're going to be doing 30 damage. Now when you're still dealing 30 damage, that is a 4 hit kill. So you shouldn't worry that much. It, it may make some of a difference in hardcore, maybe. But in core, it doesn't matter much. You're still getting the 4 hit kill. If you get a headshot, it's a 3 hit kill. So you shouldn't worry about that. But then when you get past 20 meters, you're dealing 22 damage, which is sadly a 5-shot kill. I'm going to cover some ways that you should use this weapon, if you want to use it correctly, I should add. You need to be getting up in people's faces, running to their spawn, hopping on objectives. With, with Hardline, if you get 2 kills and 1 flag capture, you have all your score streaks with, if you use the UAV RC car hunter killer setup. It's very easy and it's really easy to spam as well. 
You can just get on there, just throw down your RC car. I've gotten a ton of triples and doubles with it, just throwing it at flags. Um, the Hunter Killer is kind of cheap, but whatever. And the UAV just helps your team out overall. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I plan to do a lot more of these, because I really like stats and weapon reviews and stuff. If anyone could let me know how it was, I'd really appreciate that. And this is Squirrely Nuts, going back to his tree. Hunter Killer Drone ready for deployment. Hunter Killer Drone deployed.